the pro gamer that I am, <clears throat> Bronze 4 in the league, I wanted to see if I could make a robot that could beat me at a game. Knowing how dumb robots are, I chose a super easy game. And with what's happening outside in the world right now, internet in my house is going in and out, so I chose Chrome's Dino Game. You know, the one where you jump over cactuses and as long as you don't hit a cactus, you win? Yeah, that one. So all I need to do is take my trusty little Arduino, plug it into a couple things, and make it beat the game. But how hard can that be? Here's my idea. The first step is to get everything we need to make this. An Arduino, a light sensor, a servo, a 3D printer, and 12 hours to waste my fucking day on this stupid box that would never print. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. And some cables and batteries and stuff, tools, tape, whatever. So here's the plan. See that dino right there and that cactus right there? Those are white gray spots on the screen. Pixels put out light. Whether it's green light, blue light, red light, or just white light or no light, there's luminosity levels and they change throughout the screen. So when a cactus pops up on the screen in dark mode, it's going to be a bright white object moving across the screen or actually being lit on different pixels. All we're gonna do is take our light sensor and we're going to detect light in a certain part of the screen and when there's light, jump. That's also why I 3D printed this little box to go around the sensor so that it captures the light and it's more obvious whether the area is lit or not. All it does is the box goes flat on the screen and now it's a little capsule of light in there. Right here on the screen, I got a refreshing console log of the light output of the monitor. So it's saying about 283, 284, 282, it's around that number. And we're gonna go and put something dark in front of it, like this thing. And we're gonna wait a second, wait another second, and we're gonna go back to it. And look at the light levels, it went from 282 to 830, 833, 834, and then went back to 282. So that's how we're going to differentiate whether we're looking at a cactus or whether we're looking at a background. All we gotta do now is send that signal to our servo, which will do the physical clicking of the keyboard. Here's what a servo looks like, and this is what's going to be clicking on our keyboard. It's gonna be sitting like that, and then it has a little arm, and it's just gonna tap the keyboard and go back up, and tap the keyboard and go back up, and it's gonna repeat that process. These are one of the servos you put on like RC, RC cars or any kind of RC stuff, and usually you drill it in or screw it into something, and I don't really wanna do that into my table or into my keyboard, so I went and printed like 45 versions of these till I got it how I wanted it, where all it needs to do is hold the servo down, and then these tabs right here will go under the keyboard where it'll be held in place like that. So it won't go up, it won't go left or right. It's just stuck under the keyboard because of those tabs. And then if I really want to, I can lock it down again there and it's not going anywhere. Now all that we have to do is tell the servo to go between two different angles and press the space bar. We wanna make sure it doesn't go too far in and then just lift itself and the whole keyboard or break the keyboard or break itself. We just wanna make it click, the very minimal, and then pull back up. All right, here we go. Okay, so I finished everything up, I cleaned it up. Now the game should actually work and we should actually win it. So let's go and run this program. Let's open up the dino game. That was a great attempt, wasn't it? So it looks like it's a timing issue. Now we have two options here. One is to go into the code and actually tell it to make a delay and jump at the right time. And you know what, fuck all that shit. Let's just find out the best spot on the screen for this thing. I'm gonna guess right over here. We beat the game, it works, finally. If you guys wanna see more of this style of content, please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you wanna see next. I got one video I was working on where it's a Roomba that makes the room dirtier. So if you wanna see content like that, you know, help me out, support me with the like button if you learned anything, if you found any enjoyment, if I made you laugh. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next one.